Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Summer Smash, presented by Fusion Championship Wrestling. Got an excellent card for you this evening, starting things off with a tag team match. We got members of the Cardiac Crew, Owen Miller, Michael Wilson making their way towards the ring. It's the number one contendership match, the winners will get to challenge the winners of our world tag title match at a later date. Uh, little program reminder as we get things started early on here. Our next special event is going to be the Tournament of Queens which will be a single night tournament featuring all the women in our women's division with the exception of whoever the women's champion and the number one contender are at that point in time. What this means is that the other championships will be defended uh, throughout the episodes leading up to that next event. So things will be a little bit different on the on the regular shows between now and then, but we'll cross those bridges when we get to them. Now for the opponents tonight, you got members of El Mall making their way towards the ring. Here you see Alvaro Torres and Javier Navarro. This is a normal contendership match for an upcoming world tag title opportunity. There's the opening bell, and immediately. Got Owen Miller, the roll through DET on Varo Torres. Oof. Nice standing splash there. Springboard drop kick by Miller. Torres 
and knocked off his feet and Miller makes a quick tag to, to Michael Wilson. Wilson hits a big boot immediately. Oof, it's a modified backbreaker there by Wilson. Cover. One. And meat kick out there by Torres. Wilson coming to the aid of his partner on the floor. Oh! Nasty neck breaker there. Torres trying to find his way back into this match though. Throwing Wilson back into the ring. Wilson with a snap German suplex though. Spiking him with the DET and, and Torres desperately needs to make the tag and he does. In comes Javier Navarro who gets hit with a big boot right away. A running DET to follow it up with. Spain back kick there by, by Navarro. Look to the corner and then immediately hung up by uh, by Torres. While utilizing their uh, their dirty tactics, but Wilson having none of it. Nice escape there by by Navarro, whipping Wilson into the ropes, hits him with the back elbow. This nice version of the code red there, one. Barely a one count as Wilson was in the ropes of the referee's opposition. Get to the midsection there by Navarro. Oh. Twisting the head and just wearing down Wilson. Wilson rolling out to the floor. Taking advantage. Oh, for attacking Miller, taking him off the apron. Sliding out of the ring to go after Wilson finally. Wilson now scooping up Navarro and dropping face first on the apron. Wilson throws Navarro back into the ring before falling after him. Wilson dropping Navarro with snake eyes in the corner. Series of strikes there by Wilson wearing Navarro down, but Navarro kicks up at Wilson to back him off. I'm trying to return a favor as Wilson now takes snake eyes in the corner. One and Miller makes the save immediately. section there by Navarro. Going for a suplex but it's countered in a oh, backstabber. Wilson now with Navarro. And gets him a pop-up powerbomb. Cover by Wilson. One, two, oh, two and a half as Torres makes the save. Oh, I wind up in a big double sledge to the face. One, two, another near fall, but for Wilson. Okay, this time going for a package pile driver, it looks like. Spiking Navarro, center of the ring. One, and barely one count before Torres makes the save. Javier is now in a lot of trouble. Tag made to Miller, but this gives the opportunity to Bar to make the tag to Torres. Oh, big corner clothesline there by, by Miller. Oh, springboard dropkick taking down Navarro, but Torres going right after Miller. And for a corkscrew dive to the floor, missed entirely. Miller now at the forearm to to the face.
a nice escape there by Torres sure taking Miller down with the Hurricane Rana. Oh, suplex into a backstabber. Team has have our attacks back in. Double back by drop. Oh, stomped to the face by Navarro. No, just getting worn out here. Big European uppercut to the to the jaw. One, barely one count before Miller kicks out. Oh, big elbow to the top of the head, though. A kick there by Miller to the back. Navarro off. Another kick that gets blocked by Navarro, though. And Navarro. Oh, it's a gory bomb. Onto Miller. Tag made to Torres. Miller makes the tag to Wilson. And rain boot by Wilson taking Torres down. And spiking him with the DT. Big rain Centon. This match has been largely carried by by Michael Wilson, who's doing cross face punches there to wear down Torres and slam his head off the canvas. Torres up and dropping him with Snake Eyes in the corner. Another rain sent on. Oh, a springboard attempt by Wilson, but doesn't quite connect with it. Get to the midsection. Pop up. Power bomb, no countered. Torres hits the Hurricane Rana instead. Wilson back up though. Blom counter there by Torres who hits a spike DT onto Wilson. We have tagging out, in comes Navarro. Oh, super kick by Navarro, dropping Wilson for the second. Wilson gets an up kick though to, to break himself free. Miller gets tagged back in. Gets immediately dropped with the Hurricane Rana by Navarro. Get to the midsection there by Navarro. Arm ringer. Going for a high angle arm drag. Nicely done. Good kick to the midsection by Navarro. Counter kick by Miller though to break free. Tag back into to Wilson. Oof. Oh. And blow to the back of the neck by Navarro. A forearm strike to Wilson. Not worrying out the, the ankle and the knee. And Navarro with the cover. One. Barely one count before Wilson rolls the shoulder out. Watch the clothesline attempt. Oh, big super kick there by Wilson dropping Navarro. And Navarro with an up kick to fight free. Now Navarro tagging in Torres. Torres blocks the uh, clothesline attempt. Oh, big double sledge under the chin of Torres. Only one count though before Navarro makes the save. Navarro thrown to the floor by Miller. Torres sweeps Wilson's leg out from underneath him. Oh, big forearm strike there by Torres. Knee drop there.
Torres head back to his corner, but his partner is nowhere to be found as he's currently fighting with another on the floor. Slingshot bomb into a corner, or a cover. Two, oh. Almost had the pin there to Torres, but uh, Wilson able to kick out the last second. Frog splash attempt missed by Torres. Now, another attempt at a pop-up powerbomb, another counter there by Torres with the Hurricane Rana. High angle double arm DT. Meek save made by Miller though before referee could even start the count. Staying sure he's our press countered by Wilson. It's a basement drop kick. Wilson now gets Torres back in his corner. Tag made to Miller, double team coming. Oh! Variation of the, th of the 3D. And uh, Miller takes out Navarro as Torres rolls to the floor as well. Miller going up to the top rope. Big diving crossbody onto Torres on the floor. Referee count up to two. Right now, Miller's just wearing out Torres on the floor. Now going after Navarro, who's coming to save his partner. If we count to five. Torres thrown back into the ring. Now they're flying back in. Back elbow there by Torres. Matt Mayer to, to Miller and then a... Oh, went for a running boot but missed. Instead this close on over the top rope by Miller. Now going after Navarro on the apron and Wilson is going after Torres to throw him back in. Kick to the midsection there by, by Torres. Oh, a nasty kick to the head by Torres, taking Miller down for a second. Tag made, in comes Navarro. Torres with the escape, or excuse me, Miller with the escape. Puts the side rush and leg sweep as a counter. Navarro getting back up in the neutral corner. Top rope perk and run attempt with a top rope power slam by Navarro. Make a big scene drop kick onto Miller. Navarro tagging out, in comes Torres. Miller going for a kick and Torres going for a hurt and run attempt. Luckily missing, but Miller hits the basement DT. One. Two, oh, save made by Navarro at two and a half. Running splash by Miller. Oh, big double action to the spine by, by Miller. Snap mare by Miller and a soccer style kick followed by a double stomp on the Torres one. Oh, not even a two count before Navarro makes the save. Wilson throws Navarro out of the ring onto the floor. Oh, runs right into a hurricane run about Torres though. Standing Spanish fly there by Torres. Going up to the top rope. Big frog splash by Torres. Cover, but he's right there by Wilson who makes the save. Kind of there by Miller. Torres whips him into the ropes. Nice release arm drag. 
Oh, Stando showboating and got hit with a tornado kick by Miller. One, and, Hop and Navarro makes the saves. Miller going up to the top rope. Torres is starting to get up to his feet. Big diving crossbody. Tag made. In comes Wilson. A nice arm ringer there by Torres to escape. Torres makes the tag to Navarro. Big close on gets blocked by Navarro. Cyrus and Lake sweep onto Wilson. And splash there by Navarro. Wilson rolls out to the floor. Wilson go after Torres on the floor, dropping him with a with a spike DT. Oh, it's a super hit on Navarro as he gets out of the ring. Series of strikes there by, by Navarro. Wilson. It's in with the, oh! A pump handle. Modified pump handle brain buster of sorts. If we count to six, as Navarro hits a standing splash on to Wilson. Count to eight. Snap suplex. And the Cardiac Crew wins by count out as, as Navarro is unable to make it back into the ring. Hey guys, Cam Clips here. Uh, I want to tell you all about the new and improved Patreon that I've got going on here. Uh, it's at patreon.com slash kingofclubsyt. Uh, we've got a well, single tier this time, uh, $3 a month, uh, about 10 cents a day for all you math geniuses out there. Uh, your perks that you're going to be getting with this tier is you get uh, credit at the in future videos. Uh, it could be at the early parts of the video, it could be in the latter parts of the video, it could even be right in the middle, so you just have to watch the video and find out where that goes. Um, you all get bonus content that's only going to be on Patreon. Uh, minimum of at least one extra video a month, possibly more in the future, depending on about timing and whatnot. And then uh, you also get priority if I do Q&As or comment, uh, comment type videos where I'm reading, reacting to comments and questions. Uh, you get priority if you're on Patreon, because I'll go there first before I go to the YouTube comments se section. Uh, more perks to come in the future. I'm hoping to work on getting a Discord server set up and uh, adding that to the perks as well. Um, but yeah, if you want to support the channel directly, that's the best way to do so. Welcome back to Summer Smash, ladies and gentlemen. Presented here by Fusion Championship Wrestling. Up next, we have a number one contenders match for the women's championship here in. Fusion Championship Wrestling. Danielle Magna making her way towards the ring here. Woman who's been really looking to earn herself an opportunity. And now she's on the verge of possibly getting that. If she can get a victory here tonight. Her opponent this evening is Maria Benitez. Maria has been the challenger but yet to be a champion in terms of our women's division here. And this is some in in the minds of some, this is 
a little bit more of a higher stakes number one contenders match in the sense of whoever wins gets a challenge for the women's championship at our next event which is the tournament of queens an all-female event which is a single night tournament plus the winner of this match challenging whoever the whoever is the women's champion at that event so but these ladies are going to have a big night both tonight as well as on the night of the on the night of the tournament because whoever doesn't win this match will be entered into the tournament. Oh, I just released half and half suplex there by Maria. Danielle trying to use her power but keeps getting countered by the technical abilities of Maria. Nice series of strikes followed by a back elbow there by Maria onto Danielle. Armor there by Danielle to counter though. Pop up into a Hurricane by Maria onto Danielle. Danielle with an up kick though to fight free. It's almost got caught in the abdominal stretch, but it uses her strength to power out with the hip toss. Roll up here by Maria. One. Trying to sneak away with one. Uptick there by Danielle. Push Maria into the ropes and hits a back elbow to take her down. Series of strikes there by Danielle. Just wailing on Maria. Kick to the midsection for just a little extra stank. Nice leg sweep there by Danielle, followed by a Kind of like a modified corkscrew leg drop. Nice counter into a lethal combination by by Maria. Goes for a cover. One, two. And the referee may have cost Maria a little bit there because he was way out of position. And so there's a delay on him making the count. Getting out against the ropes there. Well, lethal injection by Maria. One, two, oh, near fall as Danielle is forced to kick out at two and a half. And you're seeing Maria use some of her arsenal that she hasn't been using recently as opposed to using her submission skills. Diving elbow drop misses though. And with a kick to the midsection. Going for a fisherman buster. Oh! Spiking Maria with it. Maria flips Danielle back into the ropes though. That is pressed in a series of right hands. Basement drop kick to the spine right between the shoulder blades. And another kick to the spine by Maria. Danielle with an up kick to, to kind of counter things. Maria with the back elbow to the midsection. Fisherman suplex. Danielle rolls out to the floor as Maria goes after her. And now you're seeing Maria work over the legs, particularly on the knee. She likes using that figure four. That's what I was talking about earlier with the technical wrestling skill or submission skills. Danielle backed against the barricade. Oof. These ladies trading blows on the floor. Danielle throws Maria back into the ring. I'm up to the top rope here. There we go. Up to her feet and gets hit with a double axe handle by Danielle. If it's doing it with an upkick following it though. Oh. Nice got rid of suplex by Danielle. To possibly countering what could have been an attempt at a figure four. Or an ankle pick anyway. Maria with a back elbow to Danielle though. Kick 
cover by Maria off the slam. One, two, and only a two count as Danielle kicks out. Oh, big knee drop to the face by, by Maria. Oh, no first ever thinks that Gary gets countered by Danielle. It's a big boot to the side of Maria's head. for a glam slam here. Oh! And cover. One, two, and only a two count as Maria is able to kick out the last second. She may have also been in the ropes. It's kind of hard to see from my vantage point. The three still, made, still, still making a count as Maria trying to fight back into it. Take him out of the shoulder tackle though. Stretching out the arm of Maria. Going for a cover. One, two, and another near fall as Maria kicks out yet again. Maria now fighting back, driving a couple forearms to the face of Danielle. Danielle rolling out to the floor, trying to catch her breath. Maria goes right after her though. Of strikes and a half and half suplex on the floor. The knee drop there by, by Maria. Throwing Danielle back into the ring. Maybe taking time to showboat, probably shouldn't be doing that. Close on there by Maria. Second one. And a step up drop kick. Nail down. Maria jumped up to the top rope. And for a big diving elbow drop. Instead of opting to go for a pin, he decides to start raining down punches onto Danielle. Now Sweeping out the legs, going through the figure four, but then it's right by the ropes. This might not be the best positioning. The yeah, referee calls for a rope break as Danielle's able to reach the bottom rope pretty easily. Up kick there by Danielle. Taking down Maria. Getting her up for a power bomb. Now it's Danielle who's repositioning Maria. Maria rolling out to the floor though. Danielle slides out. Danielle hits a punch but then gets caught with the hip toss. Danielle has a stalling suplex going on here, holding Maria up in the air. And oh, driving her down hard onto the floor. Maria gets thrown back into the ring. Danielle follows after her. And starts a running boot to the face. Went for that leg sweep, didn't quite catch it though. Looks like it's clotheslined out over the top rope by Maria. Strikes on Maria getting her against the barricade. Oh, big right hand. Now ramming her spine first against the barricade. Every count to four. Oh, spinning spine buster there. Or excuse me, sidewalk slam by Danielle. Throws Maria back into the ring. Maria's starting to get back up to her feet. And now going for another glam slam. Lancer goes for a cover. If he calls for a rope break though, as he sees Maria's hand on the bottom or under the bottom rope. Just 
Not the ideal repositioning there for Danielle, unfortunately. Could be set up for another one, though. Maybe yeah, slowly getting up to her feet. A counter there. Back elbow by Danielle. Maria looked into the ropes. And back elbow. Dropping her yet again. Big knee drop to the elbow of Maria. That elbow drop to, to the chest. Now pulling at the arm yet again is Danielle. Maria trying to slide underneath the bottom rope to the apron. Up. Trying to buy herself some time, but if she lures in Danielle, she hits her with a it hangs her up on the top rope, I should say. Ripping Danielle into the ropes. Oh, big back body drop in the center of the ring. Sweeps up the legs yet again, going to the figure four once more. It should be in the, away from the ropes and upper. Will Danielle be able to reach it again? She's still able to reach the bottom rope, unfortunately. Just barely, though. Maria diving splash off the middle rope onto Danielle. Goes for a cover. One, two, three, and Maria gets the pin. This diner is pulling a switch on the regulars by serving new instant Maxwell House. What's it taste like? Fresh perk coffee, that's what it tastes like. New instant Max, now a better blend of coffee beans freshly perked for more fresh perk taste. We call it the perky instant. Welcome back to Summer Smash, the ladies and gentlemen. Next is the normal contendership match for the Men's World Heavyweight Championship. As you see, Shoji Kawakami making his way towards the ring. Shoji earned this shot at the normal contendership as he recently scored a victory over Marcus Drake. So he's got a chance to really solidify his, his spot as an armboy contender by taking on the former World Heavyweight Champion. And this match will get to challenge for the title on an upcoming episode of Fusion Championship Wrestling. It will air before the uh, Tournament of Queens event. Here comes Stanley Adams. Stanley Adams, the former World Heavyweight Champion, leader of the Blood Palace. And with him making his way towards the ring, gotta believe that the other members of the Blood Palace are, are lurking around someplace.
There's the opening bell. I immediately showed you you can use the striking ability. Stanley Adams though. Be looking to use his dirty tactics as well as his strength. Big head butt there. Nice push kick there by Shoji to break free. Nice arm ringer followed by a kick to the midsection for the former world champion. A forearm strike and this is kind of talking about Shoji very proficient with strong styles striking. Arm ringer there by by Stanley hits the leg drop on the arm. Stanley whipped now to the corner. She went for a kick because countered by Shoji, or Shoji went for a kick countered by Stanley. Stanley now working over the arm of Shoji. Big right knee left to the midsection there by Shoji. Snap suplex. Stanley ducks the kick. Whips Shoji into the ropes and hits Simone drop. And for another suplex, but Shoji escapes. Hits a clothesline to the back of the neck. Big knee left to the midsection by Shoji and then an axe kick to the back of Stanley's neck. Oh, getting up for the inner explosion, perhaps. Nope. Countered into a DT by Stanley. Possibly thinking throwaway slam, but it's countered by Shoji. No slot takedown. Another kick missed by uh, Stanley. He trips out the leg and hits a basement drop kick onto Shoji. Ooh, like a reverse DT. One, two. Like a set up reverse DT there by Stanley. I get a two count off the cover though. Shoji rolling out to the floor. Stanley diving headbutt off the top rope. Barely had the clearance to land it though. Then Loki gets blocked by Shoji, who hits a backstabber. Thrown back into the ring. Shoji still on the outside. Stanley goes outside and gets caught with the right knee lift to the midsection. Stanley attempts another vertical suplex, is countered by Shoji, who throws Stanley into the barricade at ringside here. Stanley draped over the barricade and Shoji hits a right knee look to the face. Oh, big knee drop to the chest by Shoji. Stomp to the midsection there. There's a series of kicks to the midsection by Shoji, followed by four on to the face. If we count to six. Stanley gets thrown towards the barricade and Shoji gets back in the ring. Shoji slides back out to break the count. Counter by Stanley, hits an uppercut on Shoji. Shore on clothesline. Oh, kick to the spine by Stanley. Oh! Nice. Kind of split legged leg drop onto the quads. Another vertical suplex attempt to counter yet again, and Shoji hits the clothesline to the back of the neck on, on Stanley. Another kick counter by Stanley, though, and missed the baseball drop kick that time, though. Stanley throwing Shoji back into the ring. This one back in the ring. Shoji. Avoiding contact and hitting a pair of strikes followed by a well, nice suplex one, two, your fall. Stanley having to kick out. Should he go into the implosion? Planting Stanley. As 
Sounds like the music for the Blood Palace, Shoji. He's distracted. Wait a minute, that's Albert Johnson. Oh, just cracks Shoji over the head. If he didn't actively see it, so he's not going to disqualify Stanley. Stanley trying to crawl over to Shoji. Shoji getting back up to his feet, though. Referee grabbing the chair. Stanley with a throwaway slam onto, onto Shoji. Trying to pull him back towards the center of the ring. Pinball attempt here. One, two. Shoji barely kicks out. Another throwaway slam attempt. Just launching Shoji. Trying to pull him back again. Another pinfall attempt. One, two, and another near fall. Shoji kicks out yet again. You can see the frustration on Stanley's face. Missing the stomp and a big punch in the midsection there by Shoji. He eats a back elbow. Ooh, overcut by Stanley. Which showed you into the ropes. Hits him with the Samoan drop. Showed you trying to crawl towards the corner. Manages to kick Stanley as he's coming in. It's a basement drop kick knock him off his feet. Scooping him up, going for the emerald explosion, plants him. Covered by Shoji. One, two, and another near fall. Shoji now going up to the top rope here. Stanley getting up to his feet. Big diving crossbody by Shoji. Jawbreaker there by Stanley. And for another vertical suplex, and again, countered by Shoji. He's a chop block on the back of the knee. Basement drop kick doesn't quite connect. I mean, he's a glancing blow, I should say. Stanley now going for a nerve hold onto Shoji, trying to wear him down. Kick to the knee. Big headbutt to the back of the head by Stanley. Again working over the knee. Trying to limit the uh, striking ability the Shoji has. Big elbow drop to the knee that time. Screwdriver by Stanley. Cover. One, two, three, and Stanley Adams is no more contender. Wrestling fans, we've got a new series coming up called Fusion Championship Wrestling. It's going to be airing on our YouTube channel here. And if you'd like to see your creations appearing in the series, make sure you're using the new WWE 2K23 game in the Community Creations tab. And when you upload your characters, use the hashtag Fusion23. That's the hashtag Fusion23 will be appearing on screen. And as for any creations that are uploaded through WWE 2K23, to appear in the upcoming series. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Summer Smash. We've got a very special championship matchup for you next. This will be up for the Highway 13 Championship here in Fusion Championship Wrestling. And we've got a Fatal 4-Way Tables match 
but not to be confused with the elimination style tables matches we've had in the past. So in this situation, it'll be first one to put one's opponents through a table will win, be the Highway 13 champion. Which means that the champion doesn't even have to be involved in the decision to lose his title. See Matt Robinson descending down from the heavens. The Divine One himself. Love an opportunity to gain some gold here in Fusion Championship Wrestling. Because of the next event being the Tournament of Queens, that'll be the first time we'll have an event without a Highway 13 Championship match on it. However, the regular episodes of Fusion Championship Wrestling will still have tile defenses for the next, for the foreseeable episodes, I should say. So whoever wins this match will be defending the title on the next episode as well as the ones following it. It just means that there'll be one special event where it will not be featured because of the nature of that specialty event. This may happen again uh, later on down the line when we have a a tag team tournament themed event. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So in the meantime We've got this fatal four way, which could be over very quickly. It could take a little bit longer. It really depends on the attentiveness of the participants. Tails matches are often unpredictable. And being that we've got fatal four way tables match for a single fall that adds to the unpredictability of the match. The next challenger is Scott Reed, the Beast Bomber himself. Yeah, he was challenged for this championship on a couple of occasions. You have to capture gold either kind of the running theme you'll see with some of these challengers here tonight. Or at least for two of the challengers I should say. Because you have two men that haven't had a, held any gold yet. And then you've held you have two men who have. The next challenger is a former champion. And that's Robert Moore. The mean drunk himself he used to be the Highway 13 champion. He'd very much like to regain that title. last but certainly not least we'll have our champion make his way towards the ring that is the current highway 13 champion Alex Anderson won the championship from Jiro Kazama successfully defended against Supreme Annihilator. Now he's got a fatal four way to contest with. And 
unfortunately because of the frequency of the championship defenses tile reigns with the fusion with the highway 13 championship have been short but that's the risk that everyone has come to learn and, and accept Referees just kind of, kind of stand uh, on the sidelines, and these four behemoths do battle. Ooh. It's going to be hard to call those matches, as you see. Anderson going to work with a series of backbreakers onto Scott Reed. Robert Moore and Matt Robinson fighting it, fighting it out. Oh, so like a push kick there, like a... Like a do a stomp there. And so Matt Robinson grabbing the steps. There's no qualifications in tables matches. Well as uh, Alex Anderson grabs the, one of the tables. Big. Ooh. Robert Moore hanging Anderson up on the top rope for clotheslining Robinson. Freed there with the release. From the suplex, big standing SEO by Anderson onto Moore. Now getting read up into the electric chair position, just dropping him backwards. Ooh, nice neck breaker onto Robinson. Moore now picking up the champ. Robinson diving over the top rope onto Reed on the floor. Oh! Anderson dropping more with the uh, the DT. Read now. Throwing. Oh. Throwing Robinson into the ropes. Now suplexing him. Or more grabbing. Kind of stick and it was being used against him there by, by Anderson. Reed sitting at the table in the ring. Got more on his shoulders, but more counters at the DT. Reed going out to the floor, more going after him. Well, uh, all four men brawling on the floor at ringside. Big headbutt there by Reed onto. Anderson has Robinson hit a much milky driver on to Moore. Anderson now scooping up Robinson, slamming him hard on the floor. Reed there. Oh, a big power slam onto the champion. Moore in the ring. Robinson getting in the ring. Robinson whipped into the corner. Ooh, nice release over her belly to belly by Robinson on to Moore. I'm just have fighting for position here. Super like, oh! Matt Robinson. Hitting a big scoop slam suplex onto Robert Moore, putting him through the table, and now you have a new Highway 13 champion.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Summer Smash. Time for the next of our championship matches. We have a tag team title match on the way for you next. Let's see Chase Danger making his way towards the ring. Remember the Wolf Pack. Him and his partner Max Cage have earned the opportunity to challenge for these titles when the number one contendership match at our last event. The winners of this match will be defending the tag titles against the cardiac crew members of Owen Miller and Michael Wilson. Wolfpack are no strangers to championship opportunities. But they're taking on a very dominant team. Should get to those, them in just a moment. Next, you got Max Cage making his way towards the ring. Cage, the powerhouse of his team, whereas Chase is obviously the uh, the speed and agility. As mentioned before, they have a tall task ahead of them as they're taking on the Tides of Chaos, who are currently undefeated this season. Let's see Luska and Kraken making their way towards the ring. They won those tag titles early on and have not relinquished them since. Very uh, well balanced team. Both men like to use a variety of different techniques, striking, submissions. What's been kind of the bread and butter is that Kraken using the Iron Octopus Hold has secured him a large majority of their victories. Largely because he puts so much torque, so much crank on it that it's it's hard for their opponents to to deal with, and more often than not, they end up tapping out. The sold out crowd here. There's a look at the challengers. There's a look at the champions. Every holding 
of the World Tag Team titles. So it's going to be Chase Danger starting off against Kraken. Oh, Kraken hits a front roll kick immediately onto Chase Danger as he tried to get out of the way. They're going to work on the arm. Now for a Fisherman Buster. Move that, you know, I think that Luska enjoys. Nice basement DT. Tag into Luska. He's trying to slow the pace down. Who's good with the counter though? Big forearm strike. Chase with the waist lock takedown though. Going back to this corner, tagging in Max Cage. Oh! Cage ran right into a, a jumping knee strike there. Oof. Nice backbreaker followed by a close line to the back of the neck of Luska, tagging Chase back into the match. Luska gets Chase on his shoulders though and drops him across the top rope. Oh. Max Cage with a right hand for his trouble, now whipping Chase into the corner. Oh, nice springboard into the split lane moonsault by Luska. Up kicks there by Chase Danger. Go behind here, but Luska fighting free. Oh, big chop in the corner. Another one. Back over there by, by Chase. Luska, uh, push him into the ropes. A bit of a collision there in the middle of the ring. Nice pop up into a drop kick there by, by Chase. Who's just sliding under the bottom rope. Chase first going outside the ring, getting them back in. Who's going back in the ring? Back elbow there by Luska. Record. Oh, into a punch by, by Chase. Tag made to Max Cage. Luska trying to make the crawl to his corner. Tag made to Kraken who hits the double or hits the uh, double chop clothesline. Basement DT on the Max Cage and hanging Chase Danger up on the top rope. The Max Cage is just, he's massive comparatively speaking. He's a big dude and he's getting thrown with a monkey to us or yeah, monkey toss there by Kraken. Just escape there. Oh, going for a cross face. Looks like his foot might be in the rope. The referee's out of position. Can't see it. Next case, having to roll through and use his power to take Kraken down. Back over there. Kraken looked into the ropes. Nice power slam by by Max Cage. He's now trying to work over the hand. Trying to make it hard to lock in submission holds. Tag made in comes Chase. Oh look at this. Chase now trying to use the Iron Octopus hold on to on Kraken. Who's gonna making the save though? That been super embarrassing clothesline there by Chase who hits a tornado DT. One, two, oh, a near fall there. Kraken has to kick out at two. Next page tags in, gets caught an arm ringer. One, oof, Chase Danger making the save. Nice just slammed head first against the canvas. 
Kraken making or dragging Max back to his corner. Tag made and comes Luska. Double team here. Manhattan drop call by a running boot to the face. That picks there by Max Cage as Luska goes down. Ooh, nice suspended DT there by Max Cage on Deluska. Oh, hits the cutter. Falls into a cover. One, broken up immediately by, by Kraken. Cage now tagging in Danger. So Chase Danger is back in. Oh, started to run towards Kraken. Change direction for a shooting star press. Got countered by Luska. Hits a face of drop kick to follow it up. Tag made to Kraken. Ooh, nice <laughs> quick spear. Sharp burst takedown, but Kraken at the. Oof. With an up kick, but missed with a rolling kick. Follow. Now Chase trying to work over the legs. Try and drag Kraken back towards his corner. Back over there. Oh, a dirty punch by Max Cage and Kraken counters the German suplex attempt. Oh, they just caught with a hammerlock suplex right to the center of the ring. One, two, oh, air fall there. Just not quite getting there in time, but Kraken able to kick out regardless. Oh, and a fisherman buster to Kraken. It's the same shooting star press that time. Get to the miss section there by Kraken. It's the knee lift. Running boot. Spinning wheel kick there. Cover in the middle of the ring. One, two. Ooh, near fall there for Kraken. Meanwhile, Luska and Max Cage are brawling on the outside. Oh, release German suplex there by Kraken. Going up to the top rope here. Big shooting star press. Hits the pin. One. Oof. Max Cage has to make the save as his partner's foot was hitting the bottom rope, but the referee didn't see it. He's now going for a. Snap Fisherman Suplex. Record Punch. Stomp to the elbow there. Get over the knee yet again. Has Kraken in the corner. Tag made to Max Cage, double team here by the Wolfpack. Double back by drop. Oh, stomp to the face there by, by Cage, followed by a knee drop to the back of the head. A little clothesline to crack and taking him over the top rope to the floor. Tag made to Max Cage. It restarts the count. Max Cage going after Luska, hanging him up on the top rope. There's the that challengers will not win via count out. So Max Cage dives on to Kraken, taking him out from behind with suicide dive. Max Cage leaning against the barricade. No oh, big SEO on the floor by by Kraken. For count to five. Kraken getting back in the ring. Big drop kick to Max Cage taking him off the apron. Spinning back kick by, by Chase onto Kraken taking him down. Nice snap there. 
Ooh. Gets the basement kick, goes for a cover. One, and immediately Luska makes the save. Stretch out the arm. Standing moon salt. Buy and chase danger onto Kraken. Trying to get towards the, his corner, but Kraken fighting for his elbows to the midsection. Double iron hook. Oh! Nice tiger bomb there by Kraken. One. Only one count before Max Cage makes the save. Oh! <laughs> Raising knee strike right under the, the chin. Kraken now with the Fisherman Buster. Dropping Chase Danger down. It's the Shooting Star Press. Cover. One. Oof. Barely one count before Max Cage makes the save. Close lined in the back of the head by Luska for now. It's on the floor with Max Cage. Power slam by Max Cage. One, two. Oh, near fall there. Kraken barely kicks out at the last second. It looked like a nice neck look there by Chasinger. It looks like James Stinger had done a uh, top rope. Moonsault into a DDT. There's the double stomp. One for the cover. One, two, and another two count. It looks like he may have changed his mind on it. Another suicide dive out to the floor, taking out, cracking it again. Kraken gets back up, it's a running double chop. I guess say, or running cross chop, I should say. Kraken back in the ring. He's going after Max Cage hanging him up on the top rope. Max, er, Chase Danger go, going after Luska. He needs to get back in the ring though, he's going to risk getting counted out. He walks right into a cross face. Kraken gonna try to make him submit. No sign of Max Cage. There he is. He, oh! He ends up hitting the referee as uh, Chase Danger is able to roll through. Referee is down. Nice release arm drag. Oh! He's kind of getting roughhoused around. Luska tags in. Double stomp onto Luska as soon as he gets in. Cover. One. Two. And the slow count by the referee is still groggy. Only hits two before Luska kicks out. This the double stomp gets countered into a setup power bomb though. Cover by Luska. One. Two. Again, referee still groggy, still trying to clear the cobwebs. Oh, this could charge that Max Cage. Max Cage had a, a needle for him. But he hopped off the apron and got taken out with a dive. This could get taken out with a pop up drop kick by Chase Danger. Big right hand. Good count to four. Oh, neck breaker on the floor. Who's getting back in the ring? Oof. Hanging Max Cage up on the top rope. If we count to eight, Chase back into the ring. Kraken back in the ring. But got him in the Iron Octopus. And immediately, almost immediately, Chase Danger has no choice but to tap out. The tides of chaos retain, and are still undefeated.
With the success of the recent Apollo space flights, man has been brought another step closer to the moon. Aboard these manned Apollo flights, three astronauts, and with them, Tang. Tang, the energy breakfast drink with rich natural flavor and more vitamin C than orange juice. Still, Tang's biggest role isn't in NASA's space program. It's right here on Earth. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Summer Smash. It's time for the Men's World Heavyweight Championship match. The base contestant under standard one fall rules. The winner of which will be defending the championship against the former champion, Stanley Adams, at a future date. Up first, we have the challenger, the former Airnet champion, Verdugo, the executioner himself. There's some mix in Lucha Libre with submission wrestling, a lot of high flying, a lot of technical skill. Can tear apart a body with precision. Is champs to uh, win the World Heavyweight Championship. Here comes the current champion, Nick Coleman, who won the title at our last event, defeating both Stanley Adams and Steve Smith. This guy's got an interesting blend of striking as well as technical skill, as well as just being just a, just a massive man in terms of stature. Heavy handed with his striking ability. A lot of background in boxing. She plans on using to his advantage. He does have some MMA skill as well, able to, able to use submission. Look at there, you go. And there's a look at the champion. And Nick Coleman hands over the title. The referee presenting it. It's to be a standard match. Pinfall or submission are the only way that the challenger can win the title. It has to be done inside the ring. Countless disqualifications will not help Verdugo at all. As Coleman goes immediately to throwing Verdugo there with a release back suplex. Go whipping Coleman onto the apron though, and then hanging him up on the top rope. Coleman out on the floor. There you go, goes for a dive and misses though as Coleman gets back in the ring. Coleman now going up to the top rope though. 
going for a diving clothesline connects bit of agility and high flying skill from the champion just raining down right hand this is more of the champion's style he said he's very heavy handed a lot of power in his punches Oof. Ready to go blocking to get away champ getting back in the ring as well and ready to go goes on the offense yeah, with his shoulders, but countered into a DT by Nick Coleman. Over the arm, goes for a pin. One. Me a kick out there by the challenger. Nice leg sweep there. Coleman rolling to avoid the basic drop kick by Verdugo. Hits a basic drop kick of his own. Went for a splash, but Verdugo got the knees up. And a front chop block there. They're going to wear out someone's knee. Slamming the back of, of Coleman's head on the canvas, now kicking him in the face. Or anything, that's just disrespectful. Now you see Verdugo working over the arm. I say he's very technically savvy. He can pick apart someone's body, his limbs specifically, very easily. Oh, big spinning spine buster! Coleman has to roll out to the floor to get a breather, but Rodrigo said, "No, I'm gonna, gonna kick you in the face." I was wearing out the knee on the floor. There do go. Gets kicked in the midsection by Coleman. Coleman throws him back in the ring. We're climbing in after him. Head lock and a, oh, kind of a dirty punch there by Coleman. Verdugo rolled up to the floor. Coleman goes after him. Verdugo starts striking at Coleman. Oh! Big slam there on the floor by Verdugo. Coleman with an up kick to try to get free. Oh, a release driven suplex on the floor. Chandra has the champion in trouble. The water style kicks to the face. Yes, standing leg drop there by Verdugo. If we count to five as the champ kicks Verdugo away. Verdugo whipping the champion into the barricade. Big knee up there. Rodrigo needs the champion to be back in the ring though. Every count to seven, Rodrigo breaking the count, very wise to preserve himself the opportunity to win this match. Oh, another really strong suplex on the floor. Rodrigo's wearing out the champion. Going for a pump kick though and Coleman blocked it. It's caught the punch to the midsection though. If we count to four. Elbow drop to the back of the champion. Little counter punch there by Coleman. That counter punch there by Verdugo who hits a jawbreaker. Oh, release your Mr. Puck yet again on the floor. Count up to eight, I believe. Coleman slide back in the ring. Those been back in the ring. Oh, Verdugo goes for the hammerlock DT. Lance him with it. Cover. One, two. Oh, near fall there by the for the challenger. Coleman having to kick out. Get to the midsection there. Oh, went for the running double knees, but get, got caught with a counter kick by Coleman. Oh, a gnarly combination of punches. One, two. We go kick that too. Oh, went for a big splash, but gets countered with double knees. 
pump kick with the glancing blow didn't get flush. Coleman now with Verdugo up on, the, on his shoulders as Verdugo fights free. Oh, big gut buster there by Verdugo. Coleman rolling out to the floor yet again. Verdugo, big suicide dive taking out Coleman on the floor. Just kicking him in the face. Working over the arm yet again. It's out on the floor, it's at ringside, so it's not going to let him the match. But the best he can hope for is wearing down his opponent. Big punch to the spine there by Verdugo. Waist lock. Takes Coleman down. Oh, he just slaps him on the back of the head there. And then with a counter jab, throws Verdugo into the ring. Coleman slides back in the ring. Oh, series of punches and a heavy right hand. Coleman now. Getting him up for a big vertical suplex. Champ's starting to feel it. Oh, this is the basement drop kick. Gets caught with one by Verdugo. As the wrist goes for the hammerlock, DT plants the champion. Cover. One, two, three, and Verdugo's the new champ. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a main event here of Summer Smash. It's going to be for the Women's Championship here in Fusion Championship Wrestling. And not only that, but also the winner of this match will get to defend that championship in the main event of our Tournament of Queens. We'll be defending against Maria Benitez, who won earlier tonight. 
Up first we got the participants that will be fighting for the championship and to defend it. We've got Amber Danger making her way towards the ring, former women's champion. Opportunity to regain the title. Someone that she's become familiar with is the current women's champion. Normally very high energy, but more serious at the moment, Renee Paltre. Much energy as she may have, she does take her job very seriously and, and Takes her matches very seriously once the bell rings. like our last match this will be a standard match so in order to regain the title Ever Danger is gonna have to pin or submit Renee inside the ring counts and disqualifications will not help her so champion does definitely have an advantage in this situation Just look at the challenger First look at the champion. Champion hanging over her title. Referee showcasing it to the challenger before presenting it to the audience. There's the opening bell, and immediately Renee hits a back by drop into a cover. One, and an immediate kick out by Amber. Amber Danger's gonna be looking to use her speed to her advantage, but. Gotta watch out for the power of the champion. Case in point is Amber having to counter out the power bomb attempt. Maybe we'll be Amber into the ropes. Nice hip toss there. Taking the challenger down. And they get Amber up into a torture rack type of position. Trying to get a submission here. I'm be able to fight free though. Flipping Renee over the top rope to the floor. Champion gets back in the ring and Challenger is waiting for her. It's a release German suplex. Champion rolls back out to the floor yet again to try to compose herself before climbing back in. Once again, Challenger's way, whoops, Renee into the ropes. It's a standing drop kick, nicely done. Renee now with a Northern Lights suplex, taking the Challenger over. Oh, and he dropped to the back of the head. It's like a modified curb stomp of sorts. Oh, Renee hits a diving splash off the middle rope, didn't hedge it flush, but still connected nonetheless. Goes for a cover. One, two, oh, 
your fault there as Amber has to kick out too. Oh, diving, suicide dive through the ropes there by the champion, taking out the challenger at ringside. The challenger has a jawbreaker though to fight back into it. Oh, jumping DT on the floor by Amber Danger, taking down Renee. Punches to the midsection there. Ooh, back suplex on the floor by the challenger. Free count to five though. Ember rolls Renee back into the ring. Start to pursue her, but Renee flips her into the ropes, has a back elbow. Punch there by Amber. Move up to the corner. Nice car in the corner and hits a running clothesline. One, two, near fall there for the challenger as the champion has to kick out two and a half. One for the Knee 360. One, two, oh, another near fall as Renee kicks out yet again. Oh, nice duck under there by Renee. Shoving her punt down. Getting her up for the Dr. Bomb, plants her. Cover. One, two, and a near fall for Renee as Amber has to kick out too. Oh, they cut it to the back of the head. Nice neck break through there by Renee, or by Amber onto Renee. But Renee with the dragon screw leg left taking down the challenger. Picked a midsection by Amber. Oof. Time of series and knees trying to wear the champion down. Amber going up to the top rope now. Big diving missile drop kick taking the champion off her feet. Going for a cover, referee way out position. One, two, and a kick out by the champion. You see the frustration on on Amber's face. Get back up to her feet. Nice counter there. Form to the mid, to the middle of the back. The second one, whipping Amber into the corner. Get to the midsection there, and oh, there's that reverse cannonball in the corner by the champion. Oh, now just slamming the back of Amber's head on the canvas. A deadlift into the Dr. Bomb cover. One, two, oh, another near falls. Amber barely kicks out, two and a half. Now we're going to go up to the top rope. Diving elbow misses. Oh, a cyclone kick there. Not sure if she got all of it. Renee is down, and Amber trying to center her a little bit better before going for your pin. One, two, only two count. Going for a wrist lock here. Champion with a punch to the midsection. Fighting free. Big forearm and then a back elbow and another back elbow. And a big running clothesline. Taking the challenger off her feet. Oh! And then her face burst into the turnbuckle. 
Big wheel launching across the ring. Snapmare. And running crossbody. One, two, two count yet again. Much to the surprise of Renee. And we're getting up to her feet slow. Just counter to possibly an attempted Dr. Bomb, but whips Renee into the ropes. Big spin power slam, getting getting the champion off her feet. Just kicking her in the face while she's down. Ooh, nice counter punch there by Renee though. Kick to the midsection. Oh, there's that cyclone kick. That time hit more flush. I think she spent too much time showboating. Now it's raining down punches. I think this is a mistake. Possibly could have pinned the champion, but spent too much time showing off instead. That's where new 360. Oh, cover. One, two. Another kick out by Renee. Maybe disrupt yet again. Run for it one more time, perhaps. Oh! And again, running right the job. One, two, three, and Renee Danger has reclaimed the women's championship.